Hello. This was going to be a video on long volumes. Um, unfortunately, I'm. Hello. I. Hello. This was going to be a video on long volumes, but because I'm not used to this camera, I'm just going to do a conventional vlog type video just with a talking head. At the moment, I'm sort of pretty unsure as to how you how to use this thing or how it's going to turn out or even if I'm going to be able to transfer the file at all so that's where we're going with that right now when I summarized my forthcoming book Here Be Dragons which is due out at the end of November I forgot to mention the other world that's in it I mentioned the ancient world which is the tilted world I mentioned realistic world which is the world where paranoia is basically true I mentioned Aphrodite's children which is the familiar world in which the turtle uh, has four elephants on its back and the flat world on top which is not Terry Patrick's idea actually it's traditional uh, and obviously I mentioned Westworld which is the world which only has the new world in it so it's got the Americas, Antarctica, Australia and no other continents and uh, I forgot to mention and obviously World Zero which is our world but I forgot to mention the world with I forgot to mention Ragnarok. Ragnarok is an alternate timeline where the where a gamma ray burst occurred which was aimed directly at the earth in about the year 1000. This wiped out everything that lived in the western hemisphere and caused a mass extinction similar to a possible event in the Ordovician about 500 million years ago. After that the people living on the planet were devastated. There are only a few hundred people left after the mass extinction has sort of run its course, which is still going on, by the way. And after that, only uh, a few people were left. The Western Hemisphere was completely sterilised and new animals started to evolve unusually fast. These include Sleipnir, which is a horse-like animal with eight legs. It is actually evolved from an elk and I have an explanation for it having eight legs that's feasible. There's also Jormungand which is a serpent-like animal that lives in the oceans and there is also Yggdrasil which is the world ash which is a tree-like organism which covers most of Europe. There are also various other things in the world which correspond to the world of Nordic myths and legends and it's also affected by the fact that the Atlanteans came over the Rainbow Bridge into the world 10,000 years ago and left the legend that they were the gods. They used to run the world when they realised that the gamma ray burst was coming, they basically packed up and went, and they're off somewhere in the galaxy. Um, the Rainbow Bridge leads to Ancient World and is situated in Indonesia, which in Ancient World is known as Lucanesia. Um, and the other bridge in Ancient World, the other and the other bridge in Ancient World leads over to. Um, realistic world which has similar physics. Ragnarok has physics like our world and is probably the closest world to ours. Uh, the only real difference between us and it is that the gamma ray burst caused mass extinction. It's also an improbable world which has been selected from a variety of different worlds where it just so happens that the mutations happen very fast. The mutations are beneficial to the organisms involved and they are not likely or probable and they're not directly caused by the gamma ray burst or the radiation. Uh, they just exist because the um, they just exist because they exist. They're improbable. There will be a lot of other worlds that are similar to Ragnarok where the world was basically completely devastated. There are currently about 400,000 human beings left in Ragnarok. Another th detail is that the Atlanteans can't get back to ancient world because the laws of physics don't allow them to do it in Ragnarok, but they allow them to get over the Rainbow Bridge 
into Ragnarok. This is, they just can't come back again. So they're stranded and they've left. 